bedroom. And as always, it's untidy. So, Lara and Tom, you have to tidy up these beds. Look at them. Messy, messy, messy. You have to pick up your toys from here and run through the wobbly clowns. Let's see who's here. That is Dad Ian. And over is Uncle Neil, looking very ridiculous. You run through them like this. Woohoo! Be careful. Ah! And then put the toys into the toy box. You get ten points for each toy in the toy box at the end of the game. Oh, Lara, I know for a fact that he didn't smile at you when you were in the clown outfit. What do you think of him in his? Funny. Yeah, it is <laughs> funny, isn't it? I want to start this funny game before the guns. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and up they go on this fun. Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, Lara got it then. Ho <laughs> And it hasn't stopped to at all. She's going back in again. What a brave girl she is. Lovely stuff. Tom's still carrying on, though. Grabbing the penguin as he goes through. On this game, before the gun. Yeah, that's right. Getting through those big wobbly clowns. That's right, Neil and Ian. I think they're very happy now, at long last. I think we found their meaning in life as our two children take the toys through and put them in the baskets to make those points. That's it. That's it, young Tom. He's grabbed one. He comes through very quickly, puts the snake in. That's how he scores those points. Lara's just thrown something in. That's quite an incredible tactic. We quite like that. That's it. Get the pig. Take it through. Take the pig in the slippers through. Yay! Yay! Is that a slipper? No, I think it's a cuddly koala. I'll find out in a moment. That's it. Dragging the snake through. Watch out, Tom. It's a very long snake. And he manages with great ease there. Lara just threw in the bear. That's lovely stuff. Keep going, you two. Both of them are well matched in this particular game. They have both done incredibly well, and the scores have been incredibly close. But as we come into those final seconds now, before the end of the game, who's going to score what? And who's going to get their grunt into the gut? Only time will tell. <laughs> OK! OK! Wonderful stuff! OK, everybody can now rest, because it's time for me to count out those toys. I'm going to start with Tom's first of all. Hey, one squeaky alien. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good score there, Tom. 110 points. Yeah. All right. Now on to Lara. Here we go. Lara's got quite a few toys in here as well. Get ready. One. Oh, hello. Two. Three. It's very difficult, this. Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, ten. One more, 11, 110 points! Yeah. Wow! But hey, what are those final scores, Lisa? Well, Dave, Lara and Tom both did really well there, but as we go into the final, the blues have 350 and the yellows have 380. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Now, who's going to get their grown up in the gunge? Will it be Lara or will it be Tom? Well, both grown ups, Neil and Ian, are ready. They're poised above the gunge and it's ready to receive one of them. Who's it going to be? Let's find out as we go towards the gunk dunk! start with you in this most amazing final round. Now, you bought on with your big bank manager ways, you know, but you're about to, if it all goes according to his plan, you're about to create some interest for him. You up for that? Yeah, because we can get you in here. Could be very nasty for you. And as for you, sir, I mean, you don't smile very often, do you? Not really. Well, no, not really. He's, he's, now, he's now smiling, but it's out of fear. All right, we're just about to make Lara smile, OK? What we're about to do for you is to raise you up one level because she did so well in all those four rounds. So, ready? Up you go, sir. Go on, up you go. No, don't pull that lever yet, Lara. <laughs> cool, that was a close call, wasn't it? Right, so what I'm about to do now is to ask Lara and Tom a load of questions. For each question that they get right, what do we do, everyone? <laughs> That's right, we will crank up their grown-up. And it's the first child to get their grown-up right to the top there that will set off that alarm. And guess what? They'll get the chance to pull that lever and send their grown-up into this gunge, which is ready to receive them. Who's it going to be? Let's find out as I ask these questions. Get ready. Fingers on buzzers. First question. Who is the wife of the Duke of Edinburgh? Oh, Tom. Is it Queen Elizabeth II? Queen Elizabeth II is absolutely right. So what do we do with his dad? <laughs> We crank Ian up. There you go. One each. Ooh, very nice level pegging. We like that so early on. Next question. Film question. The Lost World was the sequel to which monster movie? Oh, straight away, Tom. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is absolutely right. So up you go, Ian. Up you go. 
He's loving this. He's just giving us eyeballs here. Can you see that? Yeah, you're all right at the moment where you're all right. Anyway, I'm going to put this down here. Next question. A fawn is the young of which animal? A fawn is the young of which animal? Tick, 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 tick. Does anybody know it? Laura. Is it a deer? Absolutely right. So what do we do with Uncle Neil? <laughs> we crank him up. Look, oh, look, he's, he's not smiling now. His lips have gone very straight. OK, too old. Here we go. Name two of the girls from S Club 7. Oh, straight away, Lara. Hannah and Rachel. Hannah and Rachel. You could have also had Joe and Tina. Got it right. Up you go, Uncle Neil. Up you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, three to two now. It's getting scary. It's getting scary, isn't it? It's getting scary for you. Just a bit. Just a bit. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Which song begins an empty street, an empty house? Oh, straight away, Tom. My love. My love is absolutely right, and it's the Westlife single. Up you go, Ian, up you go! <laughs> hey, I tell you, he's quick on his pop music, this lad. All right, get ready. Next one. Butterfly and crawl are strokes used in which sport? Straight Swimming. away, Lara. Swimming. Swimming is absolutely right. Up you go, Neil! <laughs> All four, three, this is ever so scary. All Lara needs now is one more question to be answered correctly, and it could be Uncle Neil in the guns. Let's find out what happens. Who was once known as Ginger Spice? Oh, straight away, Tom. Jerry Hall Halliwell. Jerry Halliwell is absolutely right. So up you go, Ian. <laughs> oh, now it's four all. It's all very tense. Lads, how are you feeling? Not too bad where I am. Yeah, Ian's giving it a thumbs. Not too bad. How are you feeling? Oh, Ian's a little bit wobbly. Get ready. Next question. St Valentine's Day is celebrated on which date? Tom. February the 14th. February the 14th is absolutely right. Which means? <laughs> yeah, I'm going. <laughs> oh, you've got to stay right there, Ian. I will deal with you in a moment. As for you, sir, Neil, you get to go home nice and dry. How do you feel about that? Relieved, Dave. Relieved, lovely stuff. Laura, have you enjoyed being here? Yes, I've had a brilliant time, thanks, Dave. Oh, well, thanks for coming in. It's been lovely to have you. But as for you, speaking of scary and stuff like that, you know what's about to happen, don't you? You know the rule. First adult to get to the top gets to go into the slot. Now, Tom, you're fed up with your father's bank manager type ways, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've heard the phrase, things could go up as well as down. Get ready now, pull that lever, send him down, get your own back! <laughs> Your own, but how do you feel, sir? Brilliant. Very good. Now, both Tom and Laura both can get your own back goodie bags. Well done, guys. Take a look at this, Ian. Well and truly deposited <laughs> in the gun. Anyway, that's all from Lisa and me. See you again real soon on Get Your Own Back. Bye-bye. <laughs>